Hi, I'm Justin, and I just got done posting uh, pictures of this on my local Facebook marketplace trying to sell some of the signs that I made in my last video. Uh, if you didn't check that out, uh, it was posted on Monday. Um, let me know if you have any comments on the pictures I did for this. I was trying to get the natural lighting and I used our brick wall for back uh, for the background. So if you have any tips and tricks on getting more professional photos, I'll pop up the ones I used here. Uh, let me know in the comments below. But for today, I know I still have to take down Halloween. It's only November 2nd and it's still 90 degrees here in Arizona. So today we will be making a headboard that for a customer that I previously made barn doors for. Here's a couple pictures of them. Uh, they want them to match the same kind of style, stain, and paint that we had before. Um, so they want a chevron pattern on the back with the gray and whitewash stain. So that's what we'll be working on today. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. swamp cooler. It's November, but it's still 90 degrees out and I'm sweating. So this will cool us off a little bit. All right, so when I start off all my builds, I like to, I'm not great. I do decently on the computer, um, but I like just hand drawing out my designs to get my measurements and stuff like that. Um, I am working on a headboard. This was the inspiration. It's like a chevron pattern. Um, barn style ish um, so and this is going directly on the wall uh, it's not going to be supported by legs or anything like that um, so I'm just gonna make a big rectangle pretty much with the chevron pattern inside of it and then I will have to stain it paint it and polyurethane it to get it all ready to go <laughs> So this is going to be the frame that supports the decorative piece. So this will be what all of the chevron styles attach to, as well as the main frame will attach to. And eventually this will hold the French cleat that I plan to use to mount this on the wall. All right, I got just got to cut the main frame out now. It's about 80, 80 inches long, 30 inches, 36 inches tall. 80, 36, yes. So I 
have the frame all done up, now it's time to put in the pieces for the chevron pad. I had a couple pieces of scrap. <laughs> well, I guess I'll show you as I go along. just finished putting in all the pieces. Uh, I'm very happy with the way the gaps turned out and by just lining up line of sight with my eyes, I could mark each cut and they're very flush. So I just need to fill in the nail holes, sand the whole thing down and it'll be ready for some stain and let the stain dry overnight. And then after that, I'll put on the chalk paint and then that will uh, then get sanded again to give it that worn look, the gray with the whitewash, uh, and uh, then for some polyurethane, and then I mount it. Like I said, I do plan on mounting this using uh, French cleats. I think it'll be plenty strong enough because this thing is pretty hefty. Well, it's not too bad. Um, probably about 40 or 50 pounds, maybe. Mm, 60? I don't know. It's nice and sturdy though. Uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I was worried about getting the chevron pattern. Uh, I've done this once before for a sliding barn door uh, and I think I learned from that experience and uh, I'm really happy with the way this looks. So let's get to sanding. <laughs> got the coat of stain on. I uh, got it into all the crevices best I could. I'm really excited how this looks. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, let it dry overnight and then I will uh, do the chalk paint in the morning. So <laughs> I think it's turning out great. This is the top so you're gonna get this way. <laughs> All right, see you in the morning. Morning, I am getting ready to put on the chalk paint to the headboard. The stains all dry, dried overnight. And for this process, I use this linen white chalk paint um, to put it on a little bit smoother onto the, the surface. You wanna get a little bit on your brush and then you wanna dip that brush into water. And that just lets you put on the paint a little smoother I'm just gonna kinda cover the board cause I'm gonna come back later with a uh, orbital sander and get it all uh, worn and beaten up. <laughs>
I just finished sanding off the chalk paint that I put on the headboard. Uh, I have it displayed right here uh, because I'm not installing it yet. I still need to put polyurethane on it and I need to hang it up and it's not going in my house. It's going in my aunt's house actually. Um, so I still need to put protectant on it, but I wanted to get this video out uh, today. So <laughs> I needed to make it look like it was installed. Um, so <laughs> this is my setup. This is actually in our office and I set up a fake bed. These are actually our Christmas <laughs> decoration boxes. Um, but hopefully it worked for the thumbnail. <laughs> if you clicked on the video, then it worked. <laughs> I hope <laughs> I will show you me installing this and how I'm going to install it right now. It's just leaning up against the wall, but for a permanent installation, it needs something more secure than just leaning there. Uh, so I will be putting it on a French cleat. I'll show you that in a later video. So until next time, see you later. <laughs>